Hey, this is Tyler with T-Jack Survival. We're out doing some shooting. I, I, I'm doing some shooting with my family, so I decided to talk today a little bit about an SHTF kit, something that you can throw in a trunk or whatever in case you had to get out of Dodge during, I don't know, some big disaster, riot, whatever. So, stay tuned. So the very base level of what I've got obviously is going to be my gun, but I've also got a nice little leg drop holster. This is a tactical tailor leg holster. And normally a lot of people will attach it to their battle belt. Um, I sometimes attach, sometimes detach, but what I'm trying to do here is this just gives me a quick way to disconnect and, and attach it as I want. So I can just take this base kit, throw my belt buckle together there, drop this on here, drop this on here, and I've got a very basic rig underneath the bottom. From this I can build onto it, but the reason why I like this is the modularity. So essentially I can take a very simple kit which gives me a flashlight capability, okay, on a very simple drop holster with not a lot of weight, and I can throw the battle belt on top of it. So what that does is it gives me the ability to have options, right? Um, this is modular, meaning I can just detach right here, pull this whole device off, and then put this on body armor kit or whatever it is that I'm going to do, or I can add it to the leg kit. I've got another piece that will attach right here, so I can add it to this belt piece if I want. Right now I'm just not running that, and uh, I guess the big key I'm trying to point out is the modularity options for this. So when I throw this belt over the top of that base rig, it gives me a whole bunch of kit here. I've got pistol magazines, I've got AR magazines, I've got a dump pouch, and I've got a little more real estate over here that I can do stuff with. And this is just a generic pouch, so it's going to give me the ability to put uh, first aid kit, navigation, that kind of stuff, whatever I choose. I always like to have some space that's not used up in case last minute I either find something or need to carry it with me. And then I have this on a suspender system. Okay. So this suspender system basically gives me a little more load bearing on the, on the belt and that way I can put a little heavier kit on the belt but di distribute the weight a little bit easier. All right, just so I'm not neglecting it, you want to have primary weapon, secondary weapon, like a long gun that goes down, you've got your pistol that you can transition to, okay? And then you want to have your medical as well. So, I don't have the medical kit on this. I brought a full on big A bag today for shooting at the range. But normally what I'll do is I have a full IFAT kit that I'll either attach to my chest rig or attach um, either here or here on my belt rig. That way again, it gives me options. Uh, one other place, a, a good spot to put a small uh, IFAC or even just tourniquet and uh, gauze and stuff is right here center back next to your drop pouch. So primary weapon, secondary weapon, ammunition for primary and secondary, hearing protection, batteries, and all the little knickknacks and stuff, uh, maybe some combo related equipment, first aid kit, that should be your absolute bare bones basic essentials. On top of that, you're gonna add your survival related stuff like your canteen, uh, uh, water, that type of stuff, fire, and, and those type of related things. The next level in this kit is body armor, plates, and more real estate for magazines. Now, because I've been shooting, I've taken the magazines out of these. We were using them on the range, but leave your kit uh, loaded up. So all you have to do is grab that body armor or those plates, which have space, these three right here for uh, AR mags. I'm sorry, these three for pistol mags, like Glock mags and so forth. And then I've got a double stack for AR magazines. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six AR magazines, three pistol mags, and the really cool thing about this Tactical Taylor setup is the fact that it's got these magnets in it. So right underneath here, I can't like pull them out or show you. However, you can kind of see how that's pulling on it. What that does is it gives you positive retention in any metal magazines. Now this is a Glock magazine, so it's got plastic on the outside, but on the inside, it has that metal. So this gives me a nice solid resistance in case I want to run this uh, with it open. 
but should we be, I don't know, doing airborne operations or something, you can just rotate this guy in here, I do this one-handed, and that gives you something Velcro and positive retention. Then when you get on the ground, you need to do your shooting. And I know this is more SHTF than airborne, but when you get on the ground, you need to do your shooting, you can just pop that off and shoot it and uh, draw these out while still having some positive retention from the magnets. Again, I have that same magnet set up on these down here too, which gives me a nice positive retention for shooting with it and uh, the ability to strap it down while I'm moving. So, so with this kit, I can just throw it over the top of everything. I've got a single point sling, not my favorite single point sling. I need something a little more robust in the center, but it's what I've got, so it's what I'm using. So I've got my long gun, and put that in the trunk, put this in the trunk, put the belt on the trunk, and then that lower piece in the trunk, and it gives me modularity. If I only want to grab the uh, gun and the body armor with the mags in it, I can do that, okay? If I only want to grab the belt without body armor, because I want to, I don't know, be a little more low pro profile on a vehicle, I can grab just the belt, take the suspenders off. If I just want to grab the uh, pistol only, I can do that. If I want to throw some uh, magazines to the pistol belt, I can do that. Ultimately, what this does is it gives me options. So a note on water, built into this kit, I have a Camelback uh, holder. I just leave an empty bladder in this thing and I figure I'll fill it up um, either when I'm leaving or whatever it is I'm gonna do. If you're afraid that you're gonna forget to fill that puppy up, just put a little uh, sticky note right here that says, fill up water. So when you see this, if you're evading a natural disaster type of situation, you say fill up water, you can grab it and go. Um, it's good to, rem to, if there's things that you use on a daily basis that you don't wanna forget, leave yourself a reminder. A perfect example of that is, if you've got kids and you've got a go bag for them, and you put a note on it that says, grab your bunny and the blanket so your little child won't scream. Those are the type of things you wanna to add to those notes. For the most part, all of this stays together as a kit so I can grab it and go. Um, I don't need water to deal with the gunfight. But if the situation dictates that I might be doing a larger distance, a bigger movement, something that's worse than that, I'll have to add water. And I don't wanna leave water in it all the time because it eventually gets nasty. Yes, you can stabilize water, but that's something that I'm choosing to do because I've got water purification, you can almost always find water somewhere. So anyway, that's just another idea to keep in, in mind is you're gonna want your sustainment items more than just shooting and medical and that type of kit. You're also gonna want your water, maybe some carbohydrates, food or something. And that's why you would have um, that extra space in that pouch I showed on the belt is so that you can add food and those type of things in there. If this has been valuable to you, I'm gonna leave the links for this stuff. This is all Tactical Taylor and Grego stuff. Uh, I'll leave that down in the comment sections. What do you use for bug out shooters kits? What, what are some, some solutions that you have? I am very pro modularity. I want it to be able to give me options from just my pistol or my pistol and a belt or just my rifle and the upper kit or the whole setup, whatever I want based on, uh, on uh, the scenario. So scenario driven solutions. So anyway, leave your comments on what you've got, what you use. If you have questions about some of this kit, this is a brief review over it. I figured I'd talk about it since we're at the range shooting today, letting the kids shoot the cricket rifle and all that fun stuff. Um, if this has been valuable to you, hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, leave it down in the comment section. And thank you for watching T-Jack Survival.